Hey guys, um, today we're, I'm gonna be playing Roblox. I just logged in like yesterday. Um, do not respect me because if you respect me, you uh, I would have your YouTube account. So do not respect me. I really hope that you will like this video for today because I'm gonna be telling you stories. Well, I'm going to be doing hobbies. Okay, guys. If that's okay. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video. It's a video for Janime16 hashtag robot. Um, yeah, I hope Janime16 like hashtag like this video because I really really try for this video okay i'll tell you a story that okay i'm gonna tell you that because i'll tell you my stories like bro who doesn't want to hear your stories okay guys i'm playing on my tablet right now so i have like i'm gonna have some bad connections uh she's at headless what does she mean by that and I think we need Robux for this. Yeah, we do. But first, I'm gonna try some of their accessories. Why not? I like accessories to wear. Um, first, I'm gonna wear this. Okay, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna try this. Okay, guys, it doesn't matter how I look, but, yeah. Now we're just going to choose a place. Um, I'm going to have to complete one of these ones. I'm only going to do one because I really don't want to waste my time making this video. I feel like it would make it longer for me and my cousins. So I'll try to make this video special for her. I mean, I never made a video for her, yeah, um, so, yeah, so my story that I made up, I'm gonna have to tell you made up stories, okay, um, a made up story by Kelly David was named Jessie, she was always alone in her house until one day she found her dad, but she didn't notice something Something was wrong with her dad. He was weird. He was drunk. But she never remembered that. So she said, are you my real father? And he said, yes. But she doesn't trust him. So then she tried to look at him correctly and see if he knows if that's really his daughter. Because he would basically act weird if... Yeah, he would act weird all the key time, but I was like, Dad, were you like this? I was actually in a um, story, but I just, just pretend I was, okay? I was like, Dad, what's wrong? And he was crying, and I was like, is this a dream? Like, my dad don't cry, and he's not drunk. And uh, I'm really sad right now because... My best friend left me with my other friend, and my friend stole my crush. She was acting like that. My cr my crush was her boyfriend. Yeah, she was acting like that, guys. Okay, guys, don't judge because I'm a bad, ugly, fat ass girl. But I'm just trying to tell y'all that. Um. So. Uh, yeah, um, I was sad yesterday because my friend was like, <clears throat> my other friend named Jasmine, she got mad at me because 
her teacher yells at us like every single fucking day. I get pissed off. And I gotta cuss. I gotta spit my mouth out. I have to spit my mouth out. I can spit my mouth out at any time I want. I can spit my mouth out in school. It's been, I can spit my mouth out. I can say whatever I want in school, but not at home because my mom would like literally ground me if I said it at home. And she would be mad. She would ground me. So I really try to not interrupt my mom like that. It's hard for me to tell stories. So I'm going to say a creepy story I made up. A long time ago, a girl named Emily was walking down the street by herself. She was going home, but she found something random about her dad. His dad was acting weird. She, he was acting like he was in a horror movie or the scary apocalypse. So she went to go upstairs to go to bed. She didn't care at all because she thinks her dad's just normal. No, oh. She always thinks that her dad is normal. So then she went upstairs. She went downstairs, I bet, to grab a snack. But when she was grabbing a snack, she noticed something really, really bad. It was a static, it was a person standing there. He said, hey, child, come with me. This isn't your real dad. This is a fake world for you to be in. And she was crying that she was actually in a fake world all this time. Uh. Uh. And then Kelly, Kelly cried all freaking day. Oh, her name is Emily. Emily cried all freaking day until she found something good to know that her dad was actually just a man helping her because she got lost. And she really thought that his dad born her. But no, that's not what actually happened. And... Uh, while it was happening, she cried all day, crying, Mom, Dad, where are you? Please come back for me. Why do you leave me for this job? I really want you. Want, want you. Please come back in my life. And she screamed that. And she'd think that that was not her dad. She would think all this year that that was her dad. And her dad got a divorce. But no, that's not what happened. He was a man who was helping his girl, and while the girl was helped, she cried out, Mom, Dad, please come back. Mom, Dad, please come back. Fourteen times, and she started crying more and more. But some point, something happened. It was just a dream all along. And she was crying to her mom that she had a weird dream. She was mad, like that. She was like, she was like, "Am I adopted? Am I adopted? Am I adopted? Am I?" She kept saying that, and her dad got mad, and he he said, "No, sweetie, you gotta stop saying that because you're our daughter. You you will never leave us. Remember, you said you would never sneak out or do anything like that, like something bad that you're not supposed to do." You said that. And she remembered that she said that when she was six years old. And she started saying, oh, my God, Dad, I love you too much. Please keep being in my life. He said, of course I'll be always in your life. And she was like, okay. She calmed down for a few seconds, and then she noticed something that her dad didn't want to want her to know. That actually her mom lives with somebody else and the mom was with another man. So the dad said the truth. The, for the kids to not to know. 
and he told him, and she said, I don't like you, Dad. Why does mom, my mom have to sleep with another man? Why does this happen? And he was like, because it's just do. You just have to follow the lead where that happens. And she was like, okay, Dad, I'll try. I'll try to be a good girl and never leave. And so three months later, she became older and her dad passed away. So so then she went to go to her boyfriend's house because she got older, right? And then she went to whatever, to her boyfriend's house to live with her boyfriend because she had nowhere else to go. So... Uh, I just had it hard to make people understand this game. Yeah. Um, but, so, yeah. And while I was like, so, uh, guys. And she noticed that something sad. But she's right there. She's trying to get me. So she went home to make her some food with her boyfriend. And then she was relaxed with her boyfriend. And I can't believe that she was having a good time because girls should have a good time. Oh, oh my gosh, I got scared. Okay, I'm going to have to try to hurry and get this. Um, Yeah, she had a good time while she was at her boyfriend's house. Um... Is it midnight? Hold on, guys. Oh, she was relaxed. And she was doing something really fun with her boyfriend. She likes to do things with her boyfriend. Oh, wait, how much longer in the yeah, I'm always stressed. So, she was having a pretty much good time because she went about herself. She was pretty much having a good time, not a bad time. She was having a good time with her boyfriend. So she was relaxed that she was by herself. No, uh, oh, I'm not that far deep. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, I'm not going to do it anymore because I fall down like two minutes. Uh, yeah, girl.